Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Nicole and this is The Simplistic Home. And here on my channel, I share all things simple living, affordable decorating and thrifting. And in today's video, we are doing a spring decorate with me here in my living room. As you guys can see, I have already done some decorating here behind me. So I'm gonna be walking you through today and just showing you step by step on how I very simply transformed this room for spring. I went with a very light and airy feel with some greens and different textures and things along those lines to give it that very natural earthy feel that we do love here in our home. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I have a few areas we're going to be focusing on by our fireplace, the main seating area that is right behind me here, coffee table. I also have a hall tree and a console table as well that we're going to be working on. So just a little bit of everything here in this space, but again, very simply. A lot of the items that I'm going to be using are from Amazon. I also have several things from Hobby Lobby as well. So anything that I can, I will have linked down below in the description box. So definitely check that out if there is something you're interested in. And if there is something that I don't have a link to, but you are curious about, let me know it in the comments. I can more than likely lead you in the right direction on where I purchased that item from. So without further ado, let's get into this spring decorating. The first place we're gonna be starting off in is our fireplace. So I wanted to keep this very simple and minimal for spring. I'm going to be using a large basket from Target last year, my olive tree. I also have a clock that is a Target clearance find from last year. I only paid $9 for this clock and I love it. It's a really good statement. And I also have some battery operated candles and candlesticks. These both came from Amazon. I will have these linked down below in the description if you're interested. And the last thing I'm using is a little faux hearth and hand plant. This is from last year, but I know that they have it this year as well. And my whole goal for the fireplace was just to keep it very minimal and simple. I did not want to overdo it. I typically have a lot in this corner. I will have a blanket ladder, a chair, things of that sort, and just kind of layer a lot of pieces in. But for spring, I just really wanted to keep it light and fresh in here and not a lot of clutter. Moving along to the next area, we are going to be decorating the hall tree and just the overall wall that the hall tree is on. So when it comes to the hall tree, I like to keep some things on the top just to give some visual interest up there and just to have a little bit of de decor for each season to tie the whole room in together. So for the hall tree for spring, I have some more black candlesticks. I also have a piece of landscape art. This one looks a little bit antique and vintage. It's actually from Hobby Lobby and I got that when it was 50% off along with some thrifted books and a faux plant stacked on top and then for the shiplap wall that the hall tree is on I'm going to be making a little wall collage I have a few photos that are engagement and wedding photos and then I'm also going to be layering in some more landscape and still life art from Hobby Lobby one of these is a 50% off piece and then the other one I found on Clarence The next area we are going to be working on is the wall with my console table. This is probably my favorite area to decorate each season. I always love to do 
just large statements on this table with vases and flowers and I always keep candles here and things like that so this large statement vase is from Hobby Lobby again 50% off and then the floral stems that are inside of it are Clarence finds from a couple of years ago I just love those less is more large statements that way you can just make the one statement and you are good to go you don't have to use a lot of items and then as far as the rest of the table goes I'm just going to be layering in more of those black candlesticks and the battery operated candles again to flow with the rest of the room and then on the opposite side of this table I have some book boxes these are also from Hobby Lobby again 50% off whenever the tabletop decor is 50% off I think these are really cool definitely add a lot of definition and character to a space and they are also very practical because again they are storage boxes so we keep remotes and cords and things like that in here but they just look really pretty and on top of the boxes, I decided to add in a little faux plant. This is something I've had for several years now from TJ Maxx. I also have a candle husher and a little charger from the Walmart Garden Center this year. It's actually like a plant saucer and a candle from Aldi. The next area we are going to be focusing on is the center of the room. So this is obviously our seating area. We do have two love seats and a faux leather couch as well, along with our coffee table. And on the couches, I just wanted to keep the pillows very refreshing and light in color and add in those pops of green as well. So these two pillows that I'm using on these love seats are actually pillow covers. One of them is an ivory and khaki stripe and the other one is a green linen. And then as far as the coffee table goes, I have a wicker basket that's more of a tray style. And inside of that, I'm going to be placing some magnolia journals. And then I also have a flower arrangement that is in a distressed vase from Hobby Lobby, 50% off. It's only like $8.50. And then the flowers inside of it are thrifted from a couple of years ago. Behind one of our gray love seats in a corner, I have my blanket ladder. So to tie everything in, I added a little wicker hanging basket with some more flowers inside just to finish off the room. Here is an overview of the living room. I'm really loving how it turned out. Everything was kept very simple and minimal, but it definitely feels like spring in here. I love bringing that outdoor feel inside with the faux plants and just the lighter colors. It just feels very refreshing, especially after the winter months. We can now open our windows, let some fresh air in, and it is just super relaxing. today's video let me know down below if you guys enjoyed the spring decorate with me here in my living room like I had mentioned my goal was to keep it very light and fresh in here and just make it very airy feeling and just adding in those natural elements as well so let me know what you think what was your favorite piece down below what was your favorite area that I styled I am always a big fan of this console table over here and I'm really loving how our fireplace is looking right now just very simplified with the olive tree and the clock and just a couple other things on the mantle and that's it I love the 
less is more concept here in my home. That is what I always strive to do. So if that is you guys, I hope you guys enjoy my decorating videos. I have plenty more down below in the description box. So for spring 2023, I have a playlist that has all types of spring decorating and inspiration from the dining room to the kitchen. Those were my previous videos. And then my next video after this one is going to be a spring home tour where I'm going to be taking you guys room by room and showing you how I decorated my entire house for spring. So anyways, thank you guys so much for being here today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. I would love to have you and definitely hit that bell notification. That way you're notified every time I post. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.